Today's January 20th, 2020. We're doing a move out report for 4355 crop list. Let's go take a look at the exterior first. Um, one of the things that we're missing are screens on these windows. I know that was acceptable back in 2010, 2012, but with today's higher, higher rents, we really can't have missing screens anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and re install screens. There is some stucco damage that's pretty much prevalent throughout the house. Um, I think I saw some out here too. Uh, here it is. So for example, right there, right there. Uh, unless you give us a direct request to get these stucco damage areas fixed, uh, we're going to ignore it as we have other costs that we're gonna to have to incur in this house. Uh, going into the house, the blinds are old, but they are still workable. We're gonna keep all these blinds to the best that we can. We'll test everything out and make sure it's functional. But the windows are sticking. So we may have to do some small repairs to the windows. Going into the kitchen, we know this tile was recently installed, but there seems to be a foundation issue where the, as you can see, we have a line here and it kind of continues, it stops, but then it starts again right next to the um, island. And these holes, the tenant knows they're gonna, they're gonna have to pay for the holes, but it's very small and basic. It's no big deal. Uh, and then we have a larger crack here that seems to follow in line with the foundation issue. Uh, this cabinet door we've been struggling with forever. So we're gonna fix it again and see if we can find a more permanent solution to it. Also, we're gonna wanna replace the sink. It just, it has, black stuff and weird stuff and more weird stuff and overall it's an it's a massive drag down on the value of the property so we'll get that replaced the refrigerator is a 19 cubic foot refrigerator one day we're gonna have to replace it with a 25er it's basic it's works but if it ever goes out we're gonna have to get that replaced um dishwasher as you can see looks kind of old and tattered as well I'd like to get that replaced one day, but only when things are no longer functional. So, fridge is in great condition. Um, we have these NV Energy thermostats that we're going to have to replace. Now, the tenant left the old ones. The tenant's aware that we're going to charge them for the labor, but as you can see, they are in kind of dilapidated condition. So, if we have to buy new ones, it's going to be our cost to buy new ones, and we'll make that decision later on. Uh, some positive news, if you look throughout the house, there are some paints, touch-up, lights, work that needs to be done. We don't have a need to do heavy painting in this house, which is good. It's not going to be as expensive as a full paint job, but it's still going to be a, a lot of touch-ups touch we have to do. And all this will be at the owner charge as well. The carpets are in great shape, surprisingly. We do not have to replace these carpets. It's been eight years or seven years or however long, but we are good with these carpets. Um, no point in going in every one of the rooms, but once again, the carpets are good in every room. It looks great. Bathroom here looks good, except for we have a broken cabinet door as well. And this is going to be a feature throughout the house, unfortunately. Some of these cabinets are just not that well done. Wash and dryer in great condition. Master bedroom carpet, a little bit, could use the stretching, but we might be able to go ahead with not doing it. And um, the master bathroom bathtub, I, I don't know about the history of this, why this is like that. But it's, it's clean, it's in good condition, and it's functional. The other thing is we do need to repaint the garage in its entirety. It just looks really bad the inside of the garage. But uh, that's it, that's what we need to do. And uh, we'll get started on it. So in about a week from now, I'll be ready to be put on the market. And hopefully we'll get someone in here as soon as possible. Thank you.